that was, of course, Hallelujah, What a Savior by, of course, Vanguard Choir. Well, listen to what Paul had to say here in Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 3. He says, All of us also lived among them one time, fulfilling the cravings of the flesh, indulging in the desires and thoughts like the rest. We were by nature children of wrath. Now, of course, Paul is talking about our former life. We were, of course, doing all the same things that everybody around us was doing. We were walking in the patterns, the images, and the standards of this world. But then we made a decision. And that decision is we were going to stop the madness. We weren't going to be like the macho man. Let the madness continue. No, what we decided to do was answer the call of God. You know, I'm coming right now, <laughs> this week into, of course, another anniversary in 1974. I gave my life to Jesus Christ and stopped the madness. We were just that way until we received and we asked Jesus into our lives. We changed our address when it came to where we were going to spend eternity. And now, of course, we're following Jesus Christ, having that eternal and abundant life. And as well, we are, of course, heading towards heaven and not where it don't snow. So that's the beauty of what Paul was talking about. He says, by nature, we found ourselves under the wrath of God, and we did it by our own decision and choices. But now, because of our relationship with Jesus Christ, by accepting that wonderful message of John 3, 16, says that, that says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life life. We have accepted that everlasting life, and we have all the promises and benefits, blessings, and results that come from it. We have decided to follow Jesus, as the old song says. And it's a wonderful decision to make, and it's a decision that we also choose every day. Remember, the mercies of God are new every morning. He is faithful. And because we're saying, Lord, today I'm going to give this day over to you. My steps are going to be ordered by you hour by hour. I am going to follow you, just like the old song says. And it's beautiful how God takes a broken life with broken dreams and broken aspirations and puts it all back together and gives us a brand new destiny, brand new dreams, and also a brand new life. That is what Jesus Christ did for us today. And the result of that is, of course, what Rich Mullins was talking about, the joy of Jesus. Jesus.